Cross Cranks. All right, it's been a minute, but we got one coming for you. All right, this is the uh, the deep diver series I've been doing um, for my walleye buddy, and uh, yeah, I got uh, twelve more to do, so I'm gonna jam these out for you. All right, uh, so let's get started. Colors we use, I actually I already went on and put the pearl white on there, and uh, next we're gonna use pearl satin gold. Then we're gonna use fluorescent green. And then we're gonna use fluorescent hot pink for the stencil. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna really pop out, be real bright. Uh, he wants them real flashy. And uh, for walleyes, he picked out a lot of fluorescent colors. And uh, he said, let's try some gold. We designed some stencils together. So I got a bunch of new stencils I'm gonna show you. And uh, yeah, so let's get this guy going. Paint him up. We're going to cover the whole thing with a little bit of gold. I'm going to go all the way down to the belly, just kind of blend it down nice and light. Got a new camera, so I'm using. I'm gonna try to do these in 4K, so you guys let me know if they're looking better. It's hard to see on my end because I use the same computer, and then I watch them on a older TV, so I don't sometimes get to see how well the quality and the sound and everything is. So let me know in the comments these are looking any better these videos I'll have to put a little more gold in there I put my pearl on yesterday, so it'd be nice and dry for the stencil, but I'm going to get this gold really popping at the top, and even if I got a little bit of a white belly, that's perfect, just like so. Let's dry this and uh, get the next color on. All right, let's lay down some uh, fluorescent green. I'm just gonna build it up dark on the back and let it blend down the sides. Gives it kind of that lime green color. Yep, should put a little more in there than that. Didn't think it would take too much. more good drops in there
Whoa, that's pretty bright. All right, I'll dry that and uh, come back and we'll put the uh, stencil on and get our flow pink on. All right, we got our stencil on here. Give it a little rub down just to make sure it's on there good. And we're gonna go with flow pink. Might take a few coats to cover this green. Looks like it might be wanting to turn orange on me, which is fine. It's probably going to go to a more of a fluorescent orange, which that would even look cool. Try not to flood it. Just keep building it up. I'm gonna dry it just a little bit. Now it's starting to get a little pink. I think I'm going to hit it one more time. Just to make sure we've got a nice little even coat. dry it and peel it see what we got all right let's see what we got here oh wow oh yeah I think he's gonna be happy with that one let me put my stencil back on here and I'll show it to you close. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the colors in that or not. But got that green, shift to light green, kind of a lime green, down to gold with the pink on top. And the little pink gill stripe. All right, one more thing I'm gonna do, but I'll do that after I get the other side on, is I'm gonna put some pink on the tip and I'm gonna put it right under the chin so it kinda all blends in. But let me get my other stencil on there. I'll spray the other side um, and then I'll uh, bring you back when I peel it. All right, let's peel this guy off. Show you the other side.
and uh, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to have a little announcement for you so check to the end of the video when I get done with this all right Let's see how it lined up really good now we're going to put a little little flow pink on the tip of the tail and just under the chin and then if you're using these stencils always make sure you put them back on there so they stay nice and clean and you get many uses out of them all right let's put a little flow pink on this tail whoops sorry didn't mean to hit the camera there We're not even going to worry that it don't have to be as bright as those stripes. I just want a little bit of the tip covered. Kind of excited. I can't kind of wait to, for him to see this one. He's been waiting for a little while. We designed these stencils back when I did the first video, first two videos and then uh, both of us kind of got oh, I'm shaking the camera with my hose both of us kind of got busy on other things and he wasn't in no hurry since he ain't doing no fishing right now But I needed to finish these up and I needed to make some videos. So you guys are going to get a whole bunch of these right now. Plus some other stuff. All right. I think I'm going to stay with that. I like that. I think I'm going to go with a dark eye. So uh, let me find an eye and bring you guys back. Put the eye on it and then... Um, Get some epoxy on it. What do you think? Dynamite. Okay, I think I'm going with this. I found this pink eye. And I think it's going to look really good on here. I kind of laid it up there just to see what it's like. Uh-oh. Oh, it clogged. Oh, no, that's my new one. Got to open it first. Um, but it's going through my eyes. I got a, I got a purple one and a pink one. I was going with some, something darker. But when I laid this pink eye up there, come on now, got me a new bottle. So. I didn't crack it all the way. There it goes. So when I laid this pink eye on there, I was like, oh yeah, that's the one. So you always got all these eyes because you buy packs of eyes and you never have a reason to use some of them until something like this comes along. And I think this is going to look pretty poppy. I like these baits too. I'll put a link in the description where he got them. Well, actually, he got them on Amazon, but I'll pick put a link in there, and then um, we'll also have stencils for these baits as I make them. I'll put them on the site. So, put this other one on real quick, and I'll show you. And you notice I'm not using the liquid. A gorilla glue brush anymore because I really got turned on by this Loctite. It doesn't make such a mess. And it seemed like the gorilla group glue with the brush was always gone. It was always they were always out of it. So alright. 
there's our finished lure top and bottom turned out really good i can't wait to get the epoxy on it and show you guys um but yeah come back and check that out and then stay till the end because i got a little announcement i want to make and i think it'll help everybody out so let me get some epoxy on this guy and i'll bring you back and we'll wrap this video up all right friends here we go here's the finished uh deep diver we're calling him the limeade wally knocker and uh yeah so turned out pretty good you can see i got three there because i had to go ahead and do a few more and uh I got uh, a crotch, five five inch jerk bait, and then I got one of the one tens painted with the transparent uh, body, like I've been doing. So, yeah, turned out really good. I, I like the stencil, I really do. Um, speaking of stencils, guys, if you want to get started making your own stencils, if you're tired of spending money on stencils and that are just not working for you let me encourage you to get a cricket and take my course on making stencils it's a four-hour course and we go deep into it um, I've had two courses so far uh, the first one I have four uh, participants and then last weekend I had another one and I had four more participants so you know guys these guys are stepping up and getting out there and creating their own stencils and making their own baits. And um, it's $149, but I guarantee you're going to get way more than that out of it. And you'll save that much just making your own stencils. Um, I know crickets are expensive, but I'm going to show you a lot of other things you can do with them. You know, just outside of just making your own stencils, how you can use it if you're, if you're, have a bait business there's so many things you can do with your cricket and I can show you how to do those things um, not only that you get access to all my templates I give you templates and I give you stencils and whenever I do a new stencil like this one in particular um, all my participants are gonna get this stencil to add to their collection so that's for a lifetime for as long as I'm doing this so you know I would encourage you to think about it and if you if you can, if you can get a cricket, that's cool. I know it's a little expensive, but in the long run, you're going to be able to create your own stencils, your own you know baits that are unique. And what's coming out of your mind? I know everybody that paints baits always thinks of thinks of different things to make their stencils. You know, want to have your own unique stencils as opposed to painting the same old crawls and everything else that everybody else is painting. You can make your own stencils, your own designs, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Even if you don't have any experience in um, like web program or um, illustrator programs like vectors, doing vectors and things like that, I'm going to teach you how to do it in this seminar. And I'm going to give you some secrets on how I come up with my stencil designs and how me and my buddy that's, that bought these baits, we sat down and we designed all the stencils for his baits. He he helped me make them, helped me design them, and told me what he liked, and told me what he wanted. And that's pretty cool, and he really enjoyed that process. So that's just something extra that you can add to your repertoire to help you sell baits. Um, this guy's bought a bunch of baits off of me, and he went out and bought a whole big bag of baits, and bought me a bag of baits, and come in and said, I want to create some unique walleye deep divers, trolling lures, and I, I, I want to be part of the process. And I said, absolutely. So, um, yeah, we created these stencils. All these ones coming up you're going to see are all ones that me and him sat down and created. So if, if you're serious about your bait paint and you want to take your bait paint to another level, you know, I encourage you to, you know, get you a cricket. Look on Marketplace. Um, I know like two, three guys in the seminar that's done the workshops have found their crickets on, on Marketplace because people get them and they don't know how to use them or they think they're going to use them and then they end up wanting to sell them. Um, I'm telling you, you're going to put yours to use and um, you're going to create your own beautiful designs. 
Plus, you get access to all my templates, the templates that I make these stencils on, um, just like the ones you see, see on lorestencils.com. Um, and I've got a tons of stencils, guys, that um, I, I share with whoever takes the, uh, the stencil course. So even if you got a little experience with the Cricut and you've tried to make your own stencils or you're making your own stencils, I still encourage you to take the, take the workshop. Um, you, it, like I said, it's 150 bucks, but you're going to get way more out of that, way more, guarantee it. And plus, you get access to the stencils of mine that I create when I create new stencils. You get those for free just because you've taken my seminars. So um, you get the designs, and you can play around with them, change them, make your own. Um, one of my guys, Josh, that did the um, that did the uh, first week. In the afternoon session, Josh is, um, makes custom baits, and he's getting into it. And um, he made an awesome crawl design, awesome crawl design. And he sent me sent it to me, and um, of course, I'm not going to use it. That's his design, but it's just cool to see you guys creating your own stencils. I want to help you out. I'd love to sell stencils. I mean, you know, if you want to buy stencils, that's cool. But let me help you really knock your stencils to another level and you make your own. And you won't have to buy stencils from anybody. Every design you can create your own, you can make your own. Um, for no matter what size bait it is, you get a new bait in, a new body shape, you're gonna learn how to make the templates. I'm, I'm telling you guys, um, and I know there's some people that's commented in the past on some of the stencil videos about how well they enjoyed the course everybody enjoys it and everybody's learning so much um, and like I said even if you got a cricket you're already making stencils or maybe you're having problems I know I got people that um, do stencils and they're um, having some problems and they want to message me and ask me and, and it's like if you take my course you know you're gonna get you're gonna know how to solve your own problems troubleshoot things learn how to weed out your stencils it's just it's just a really good course and um i want to share that with the community i would rather you guys be making your own stencils than buying them from me so but let me give you a close-up of these lures and show you what they look like think about it i got one coming up in february it's february 17th you can always pre-register um and i will start um increasing the cost of this this course because it is worth way more than 150 dollars i mean i've had guys in the participants tell me that I should be charging two, 250 for it but you know I want to help you guys out that's what I'm here for that's what I'm doing this channel for is to help bait painters especially new bait painters so I encourage you don't be shy we're doing uh, right now I'm just doing like four people in a session so you get um, like the last sessions we've done we've had two in each session and all the sessions and um, you get kind of that personal touch and and um, you know, we, we uh, share all kinds of troubleshooting problems and fix them and solve them. And then, like I said, if down the road, if you have a problem, you can reach out to me and I can answer your questions. So, encourage you guys to get started. Try the stencil seminar. It's, it, it's well worth your money. I mean, if you just come back and tell me you didn't enjoy it or you didn't learn nothing, hell, I'll, resume, I'll, I'll refund half of your money. So, um think about that and let's take a closer look at these um let me zoom in but i appreciate all you guys that are subscribing to the channel we got a bunch of new subscribers and um i really appreciate all of you okay here's the final one let me show you a close up of it these colors turned out awesome so the colors we used were um pearl white on the base and then we came on top of it with a uh, satin gold then we went with fluorescent green because he wants lots of fluorescence and um, then we did uh, fluorescent pink and another thing is with the stencils guys you're not you're not going to be able to come and, and hit this thing over three or four times and get that pink to really pop out if you're not using the the right stencils there's no way you're going to hold a stencil on there and get it to hit again. And then if you don't like it, you got to put it back on. And it's never going to line up or they're going to look fuzzy. Um, you know, it's just 
just so many benefits and if you guys have been watching my videos for quite a while now um, you know you know how well they work so um, yeah I encourage you guys to get started making your own stencils and um, stay tuned I got a bunch more of these deep divers coming up I got some some lure building coming up we're gonna um, the next wood building bait we're gonna do uh, here real soon I'm already starting to record it so um, yeah Appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up the next video. And always remember, stay crusty, my friends.